The Search for Extraterrestrial Life, or SETI, is an organization devoted to find evidence of life on other planets. To do so, scientists study other planets, sometimes called exoplanets. Exoplanets are hard to detect, but we have discovered quite a few of them in recent years. The discovery of exoplanets has intensified interest in the search for extraterrestrial life. There is a special interest in planets that orbit in a star's habitable zone, where it is possible for liquid water, a prerequisite for life on Earth, to exist on the surface. Observing exoplanets allows us to determine whether or not we actually understand those processes, even in our own solar system. The more we learn about all planets, the better we can understand our own, its geologic past, the behavior of its atmosphere, and future climatic trends. In the process to do so, scientists have sometimes discovered very strange and intriguing planets that amaze us. Today we are going to talk about two such planets that seem to defy the laws of physics and even change our perspective of planets by telling us something new. These are Galice 436b and Tress 2b. So just sit back and watch the complete video to know about these very strange planets that defy laws of physics. Space is full of wonders whose discoveries have always left us wondering. It never fails to bring out the exceptionally weird yet amazing discovery to our knowledge. In all these explorations and discoveries, the vivid interest of astronomers led to the discovery of a weird yet astonishing exoplanet, which is approximately 31.8 light years away and is called Galice 436b, otherwise known as GJ 436b. It is a Neptune-sized exoplanet towards the constellation Leo, discovered in August of 2004 by R. Paul Butler and Jeffrey Marcy. Transit observations led to the determination of its exact mass and radius, both of which are very similar to that of Neptune, making Galice 436b the smallest known transiting extrasolar planet. They used a method called the radial velocity method, which locates an extraterrestrial body by observing how its gravitational pull makes the parent star appear to shift and bend. Even though the planet is huge, it is too compact and is considered as warm Neptune, as it's similar in size but closer to its star than Neptune is to the Sun. This planet resides very close to Galice 436, just about 4 million kilometers away, and is at least 6 billion years old, which the astronomers do not guarantee. They may or may not be older than this. Lately, the astronomers and scientists have discovered some weird and mild stuff, which is why it won't be surprising or shocking to know in the near future that there's a planet where the raindrops are of diamonds or some other amusing facts, such as the day is brighter than the sun and nights are darker than coal. Nevertheless, one such amazing fact about this planet is that this planet consists of a ginormous layer of water, which is in solid form. To put it in simpler words, we can say that it is made of excruciatingly hot ice, the kind of ice which is hotter than fire itself. However, the ice on the surface of Galice 436b is not normal ice like we have on Earth. The temperature on this planet is almost up to 440 degrees Celsius, which is equal to the temperature of normal fire comparatively. Under this temperature, it is possible for water to turn into ice or freeze, but this is where our knowledge takes a sleek twist. As far as we know, any liquid takes the shape of ice when the molecules within that liquid come together to form a strong bond, and molecules come together only when the temperature is less forcefully implementing pressure and bringing them close. The same happens on this planet too. On Galice 436b, hydrogen, carbon monoxide, helium, and methane are found in abundance. The atmospheric pressure on this planet is so much that oxygen breaks from carbon monoxide and gets separated, then combines with two hydrogen atoms and forms H2O molecules, which in simple words is termed as water, which is found in abundance on our planet Earth. The high atmospheric pressure in temperature compresses the H2O molecules, because of which even a planet with 440 degrees Celsius is not only capable enough to form ice but remain in the same state. Its extreme gravity prevents the ice from turning back into liquid form, because of which the ice present on Galice 436b 
is unlike other ice and remains the same even during super hot temperatures of 439 degrees. Recently in 2015, according to research, it has been discovered that the radiation of the stars has created a layer of cloud-like structure on the perimeter of the planet, which looks like a tail of the cloud. It is predicted that clouds could be made out of potassium chloride or zinc sulfide at these scorching temperatures of several hundred degrees Fahrenheit and soon to be found in these atmospheres. Also, this planet is about 10 to 20 times the size of Earth and completes one full orbit around its parent star in just a little over two days, which proves the fact that the planet is located remarkably close to its star. Due to such proximity, it is said that it will only take a few nanoseconds to set something on fire around the planet. In late December 2013, NASA reported that clouds have been detected in the atmosphere, which is very spectacular. It's as if the planet's atmosphere at a high temperature caused the hydrogen to evaporate the radiation of the star and was too weak to blow away the cloud that accumulated around the planet. Since the cloud forms a comet-like tail because of UV light coming from the star pushing on the hydrogen and causing it to spiral outwards, because the atmosphere of our planet blocks most UV light, the team needed a space telescope with Hubble's UV capability and exquisite precision to find Gliese 436b's comet-like tail. The astronomers used the Hubble Space Telescope to detect this hydrogen cloud's shadow. This observation could not have been made from Earth because our atmosphere blocks most of the UV light. This phenomenon also explained the disappearance of hydrogen from Earth's atmosphere. The astronomers suggested that evaporation such as this may also have happened in the earlier history of the solar system when the Earth had a hydrogen-rich atmosphere that dissipated. It's also possible that it could happen to Earth's atmosphere in the future when the sun swells up to become a red giant and boils off our remaining atmosphere before engulfing our planet completely, which is why the astronomers are determined to find a planet suitable for lives to exist on it, thus keeping the existence of living things and beings in motion. Let us now shed some light on a very dark and rare discovery by our astronomers. Tress 2b is an extrasolar planet which is also known as the darkest planet is orbiting around its planet star, i.e. GSC 03549-02811, and is 750 light-years away in the direction towards the constellation Draco. The giant size and mass of this planet shows great similarities to that of Jupiter and is referred as hot Jupiter, where the temperature ranges between 1000 and 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. The reason behind being hotter than lava is the proximity between the planet and its parent star. Because of being so close to the star, this planet only takes 59 hours, i.e. 2.37 days, to complete a round around its orbit. Tress 2b was discovered on August 21, 2006, by the Transatlantic Exoplanet Survey TRESS, by detecting the transit of the planet across its parent star using SLUTH and PSS. This discovery was later confirmed by the WM Keck Observatory on September 8, 2006, by measuring the radial velocity of the star. Since then, the research is alive and every time there comes distinct news and discoveries like never before. The researchers found out its ability to reflect light less than even 1% because of which it appears darker than coal. It is darker than the darkest thing you would have ever come across. Darker than the dark house. It's almost like a black hole, except of course it isn't. However, it is not that dark, as because of its high temperature, it emits a faint red glow, very much like a burning iron metal, which may or may not make it a little less dark. There is no clear theory as to why the planet is so dark, but one such reason was the absence of reflective clouds like on Jupiter, making it so bright. The second predicted reason was the presence of light-absorbing chemicals in the atmosphere of Tress 2b, such as vaporized sodium, potassium, or titanium oxide. Even though Tress 2b is called hot Jupiter, it has some of its own distinct properties, making itself a little less like Jupiter and having its own identity. In March 2009, NASA launched Kepler and was named as Kepler mission for the discovery of extrasolar planets by the transit method. Kepler uses light sensors called photometers that ceaselessly monitor dimming of thousands of stars. 
Such dips in stellar brightness may show that a planet is transiting or passing in front of a star relative to Earth, blocking some of the star's light. And in the case of the coal black planet, blocking astonishingly only little of that light. When a planet passes in front of its star, the shaded side of the planet faces Kepler. But as the planet begins orbiting to the side of its star or behind its star, its star-facing side comes to face the viewer's star. One month later, the spacecraft released its first images, and it was discovered that Tress 2b was one of them. The light reflected by the newfound extrasolar planet or exoplanet changed by only about 6.5 parts per million relative to the brightness of the host star, which was the smallest photometric signal ever discovered. The most important result from the Kepler mission about this planet is that it has an extremely low geometric albedo, making it so exceptionally dark. Now, if the doubt arises about albedo, then just know that albedo is the amount of light reflected off a surface. It is the darkest planet found to date. Also, it is believed to be tidally locked like our moon, so one side of the planet always faces the star and shows changing phases just like our moon, which causes the brightness in the star as well as the planet to vary slenderly. Such a slight cause in the hole of darkness didn't make any difference yet the observation was noted. Though trust 2b is exceptionally dark and infrequent, astronomers nevertheless await the discovery of similar planets around it. Also, trust 2b was initially found within the field of view of the NASA Kepler mission, which now has become a keen interest of astronomers, seizing illustrious attention and ensuring that hundreds of upcoming transits will be observed with magnificent precision and sanctioning a host of unparalleled investigations. It is not less than a challenge to discover planets like this, and challenges like this are the greatest love of astronomers, and a nice source of entertainment for us, which leaves us wondering, can life exist on Tress 2b, or what if one day daylight will be detected, or how dark can that planet really be? We keep wondering, astronomers keep discovering, and the planets keep surprising, and they will probably keep surprising us in the future too. So what do you think about these strange planets? Do you know of other strange exoplanets? Let us know your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel and press the bell notification to remain notified of more amazing videos on strange exoplanets like these and other amazing facts, news, and topics.